The Whiting General Purpose Door is a basic design to fill the rear opening of a truck or trailer with an upward acting closure. In order to maximize and extend the smooth operation of a general purpose door, let's cover the common maintenance procedures you may encounter. First, it's a good idea to inspect the door assembly prior to operating the unit. From the outside, check for damaged panels and worn or frayed cables or pole straps. Any evidence of cable or strap problems should be corrected immediately prior to operating the door. Check to see if the lock and keeper pivot freely, and be sure that the lock cam fits snugly against the latch plate in the sill. Also, check the top, bottom, and side seals to see that they're in position and in good condition. Moving to the inside of the unit, be sure all rollers and hinges are in place and fastened securely. Check the bottom and top fixtures, making sure that the top adjustment slide is in position and fastened tight. The track should be straight and free from damage, with the rubber track stops fastened in place. Check the amount of side shift movement in the door. There should be no more than 3 8 inch total. You can adjust this movement by adding or removing spacer washers located on the rollers at the first panel joint from the top and bottom. These washers serve to center the door within the door opening and play an important role in smooth door operation. Finally, check the balancer assembly. The cables should follow the grooves of the cable drum. There should be no spaces or gaps between the cable wraps. Be sure the cable is not crossed over on itself, which can cause wear and failure. Check to see that each cable drum is firmly against its bearing assembly and that the cable is not rubbing against anything. When your inspection is complete, the door should roll up and down easily and smoothly.